Happy Monday, everybody. We are entering week four of our cycle. I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. Um, we're starting out today with a strict press and barbell hip thrust that we've been practicing the last few weeks. So let's take a look at the strict press first. We're gonna grab the bar about thumb distance from the knurling or that rough spot. Get a full grip on the bar with your thumbs around it. Walk your throat all the way into the bar. Pop those elbows slightly up, so they're just gonna be slightly in front of the bar. You're not gonna turn like this, but I just wanna show you guys. So elbows slightly in front of the bar, and the bar's resting on my shoulders, okay? We don't wanna hold it like this. Make sure it's nice um, and rested on those shoulders. So you just take your one step back out of the rig, squeeze your legs tight, booty tight, belly tight, pull the chin back out of the way, press straight up. At the top, I want you to focus on locking out the elbows and hiding your ears with your shoulders or pressing all the way up. You'll bring the bar down, kiss the shoulders, drive it right back up, okay? So no legs to assist you on this one, just pressing with the upper body. Once we finish our strict press, we're gonna set up for our barbell hip thrust. So you're gonna use a lower box um, for this one. We'll bring our bar over. You can put some mats on it if you wanna make it a little bit more comfy. Um, ideally, you're gonna have weight on this bar so you'll be able to roll it on top of you, but it's gonna be right in the crease of your hip and your upper back is gonna be on the box. From here, you're gonna hold on to the bar and you're gonna raise your hips all the way up, squeeze your butt at the top. You'll kiss the ground with your butt at the bottom and then raise up again, okay? You should be able to go pretty heavy on these things. Um, so do your best, but always stay safe. Yeah. When we're done with our barbell hip thrust, we're gonna get into conditioning. And today we've got a fun workout with some running double unders, sit-ups, and push-ups, okay? So you're gonna run, 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 you're gonna come back in, you've got your jump rope, all right? Double unders, the rope passes under your feet twice with every jump, so. All right, if you're new to double unders, maybe try doing like two singles and then a double, two singles and then a double, or one single, one double, one single, one double. Um, but the only way to get double unders is by practicing double unders, okay? Um, after that, we've got sit-ups. We're gonna use our ab mat. The bigger part of the ab mat goes closer to your bigger part. You know, it seems like it should be the other way, but it's not. Feet in front of you, up, butterfly, whatever you wanna do. Sit all the way back, touch the ground with your shoulders and your fingers, and then throw your arms forward and touch the ground by your toes so we know you're sitting up all the way. So all the way back, all the way up. Don't cut it short at these guys, all right? I wanna see full range of motion on every rep. Our last movement we have today is a push-up. Now, push-ups, I know when we get a little tired in the workout, the form can not look so great, okay? But we're not gonna do that. We're gonna focus on really good form, meaning our elbows start locked out or in a nice plank position as we lower down, elbows tuck in, chest and thighs touch the ground at the bottom, and then we're going full lockout at the top every time, okay? Um, I wanna make sure that the whole body moves together. So a lot of times I'll see some of these where the hips stay up or some of these where the hips stay down. So we're just gonna move the whole body as one unit on every rep. Now, if this is too challenging for you, you can put a band around your elbows. You can hang a band around the pull-up bar and put it around your waist for a little assistance, but let's work that full range of motion on every rep, all right? Have fun. <laughs> 